food we will be provided with will be genetically manipulated and nutrient deficient. Genetic manipulation of food causes complications in metabolizing and utilizing food for energy. In June of 2003, scientists reported that the gene sequence of the inserted genes into, into crops had actually changed their order, that had re-scrambled. So the genetic inserts are not stable. Another laboratory confirmed this and found that it had changed in the same varieties in different ways that they had tested. So not only is it unstable and changing, it's not even uniform in the way it's changing. This is incredibly dangerous. Nutrient deficiencies due to Codex's planned vitamin and mineral ban will cause billions of preventable diseases. IUCN, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, been in existence since the United Nations was created. It's not part of the United Nations Charter. It's a scientific advisor to the United Nations. But through the IUCN, such programs as ecosystem management, American Heritage Rivers, the Clean Water Initiative, the Endangered Species Act, and all the rules and regulations of the EPA, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the U.S. Forest Service, the U.S. Park Service, and so forth. Uh, Aurelia Pecci, who actually created the Club of Rome, and it's the inner inner circle of the global elitists in 1991, stated that while searching for a new enemy to unite us, we came up with the idea that pollution, the threat of global warming, and the like would fit the bill. All of these dangers are caused by human intervention. The real enemy then is humanity itself.